is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. 1973 Lamborghini Espada. Really cool car in copper with the VIP uh, interior, which is a rare option in general. Series 3 car. It's on uh, Bring a Trailer Auctions. Just really a unique uh, car. Actually, the first time I ever saw one of these, I bought a uh, 1968 um, Porsche, and the guy had just replaced the Porsche with one of these. And i just never seen one. I was like, wow, what a car. This is our uh, 230th auction on Bring a Trailer. Right there, that's what the 230 is. And just a really nice car. I mean, it's a car that you can actually uh, drive and enjoy. It's not perfect, but it's it's actually a pretty clean uh, spot. If you need any help selling anything on Bring a Trailer and you don't mind me telling the truth about it and uh, talking about it, no smoke and mirrors, I want everyone to know what they're buying, uh, I would be glad to help you. If you don't want me to tell the truth, I can't. So we're just going to start here uh, from the front to the back. Actually, I was going to mention too, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to tighten up this antenna and it, it keeps on coming down a little bit but I see there I might be able to tighten it up right there so you just kind of live and learn when you're doing these uh, these cars in general it's just an interesting antenna you can see it's kind of fun to droop down so let me go ahead and uh, show you the lights we got marker lights got headlights high beams and then turn them off and then we got blinkers, we got left, and we got right. Actually, if I was standing the right way, that'd be left and right. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back real fast. I love the color of this thing. Oh, go ahead and turn your marker lights on. Marker lights work on the side. The only one that's not on is this one right here, just so you know. And we didn't do any maintenance to this car. So it does have new tires on it and from 2018. Brakes look really, really good. And I'll put it up on my lift so you can see it uh, too. But here we got uh, marker lights back here, blinkers. We got turn left and we got right. And then uh, reverse, reverse, uh, do it again, reverse. Heard a little bit of a grind when it uh, went into reverse. I don't think you had the clutch all the way in there. So um, the uh, the other thing that doesn't work, go ahead and turn your marker lights off. And uh, is the brake lights aren't on. Oh, exit, that's marker lights. Yeah, so our brake lights aren't working. And then you can see here, the license plate lights are working. Go ahead and put it in reverse one more time. I just wanted to show you that you won't grind the gears every time you do that. So. I'm gonna walk around and uh, take a look at the paint in general. It has been repainted. This is the factory color, but it has been repainted. I'm gonna guess once, but maybe it was twice, I don't know. Um, overall, it's nice. You're gonna see a few little chips, handful of chips, some bigger ones over on this side of the car. The NASA scoops, you can see a little chip right there. You know, you're gonna see all the photos and stuff, but I think a video uh, does a better job. The grill looks good. You can see a little denting right there on the bottom of each one. Front of the balance, I'll show you that uh, more. A little bit of crazing and stuff on the bumper. You know, just a, just a unique car. The car's not rusty at all. It's actually really clean. Um, down here on the bottom of the fender looks good. Wheels have been repainted. You can see they're little pitted before they got uh, painted there so they weren't a full restoration but someone painted them before uh, we got them uh, and the tires are BFG's 255 60 15s I think it should have a 70 series on it but I kind of like the car being a little bit more aggressive and squatty looking uh, personally but everyone has their own own ideas mirrors look good little mark right there across the bottom of the rocker looks good as well down the side actually pretty straight overall if you look down the side it's pretty nice 
this is the bigger chips and stuff I'm showing right here on the corner right here and a little bit right here as well and then also I wanted to show you light scratches a couple little light things around the wheel lip no rust bubbles or anything like that fuel filler and then you can see right here there's a little chip overall so you know my videos aren't about uh, showing a bunch of glamour one of my friends says your videos are so boring and I'm like I didn't make it for you I made it for uh, someone that wants to buy it so I'm just trying to show you different things about it little chip there uh, overall so um, you can see another one right there so I'm gonna flip it around so you can see the uh, see a little better in the light so we'll turn it around here real fast for you so we'll do that in a second hey just want to show you the other side real quick just see it a little better just a good looking car overall so I'll just start from the back here work my way up front you can see the mufflers look good you can see they're a little hazy hazy there you can see the back bumper you know just has a little bit of age lights have a little bit of age too I love the window back here again when you look down the side getting pretty straight a little bit of wave in the top of the door there but overall looks pretty nice paint isn't perfect but it's a really really nice driver and I mean you're gonna take it to car shows and, and have a good time because uh, you're probably only going to be the only one there but you're not going to win a car show because of the best paint or anything like that you know one thing that's really cool um, I'll show you here around the wheel lift looks good I like how the back windows pop out you can see that it's actually pretty cool pretty neat a little pitting on the door handle body panels line up pretty nice overall uh, bottom of the rocker looks really really good on this side and the wheels are all the same they all have a little bit of pitting you can see here that was uh, cleaned and then painted over but overall nice 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 car super cool no cracks in the windshield or anything like that uh, I think the gaskets are probably pretty close to original uh, but but they look nice overall I noticed a little uh, there's a little mark right there hopefully you can see that the uh, where the rubber gaskets off there a little bit the window pops up obviously I'll show you that uh, here in a minute so and uh, also this side it's got dual gas tanks so anyways hopefully that gives you a good look at the exterior I'm gonna go ahead and show you the interior and underneath the hood Hey, gonna go ahead and show you how to pop the hood actually the little lever you can see it right there it's got a latch on both sides so we'll just lift it up here and I've got one arm so I've been pretty good at this prop rod and there you go yeah there you go actually pretty clean underneath the uh, the hood here this is a numbers matching motor v12 and i don't know maybe i'll see it from the other side but right down here and there is a picture of it in the auction there is a uh, the number which is over there on the uh, other tag which is 40968 that number is stamped in there so this is a number numbers matching uh, engine overall one of the most important things that we're looking at underneath the hood is no accident damage at all everything looks pretty good stanley uh, met the ups guy hey what's up and uh he never brings any treats since i don't know why he comes out and sees him every single time but he does uh, but anyways underneath the hood is uh nice you ever seen underneath a lamborghini uh hood here you go you might as well be here v12 look at all the uh carburetors six webers that's cool huh So pretty neat underneath the hood in general and uh, we'll start it up here for a minute so you can hear it but again no accident damage underneath here pretty nice see you later and we'll take a look at this side everything's real clean 
uh, in general. So on, when I had it running earlier, you probably heard the fan uh, running. This number here, I don't know exactly what that number is. And I don't know if you can see it, but that number, now that I know where to look, I can actually see it right there, but I don't know if I can get my camera on it, but I can read it 40968. So pretty important uh, on a car like this to be numbers matching. Right here is the ID number, which the ID number is also on the uh, steering column there. Also this number here, engine number uh, 400 GT. So pretty cool. Go ahead and uh, we'll fire it up real fast. And I did a uh, cold start video. It really needs to warm up. It's like 10 minutes, but go ahead and uh, rev it up now. You know, it sounds great and it, it drives great i mean you'll hear a little bobble when it's it's not 100 percent warm but when you first after you start driving it uh it just comes alive go ahead and rev it up a little bit and i'll, I'll take you back here to the exhaust hear the exhaust note Not too shabby i think it sounds pretty nice so we'll go ahead and uh show you some more stuff again i didn't do any mechanicals or any maintenance uh on this car i kind of i could do it uh but you know when you get parts and stuff like that that uh, you know i got to know my limits a little bit and i don't want to tear into something but uh you know it's just like a car just in general so you'll notice there's a couple plumbing things that are missing here and I don't know if it's supposed to have this. Uh, I've seen them with an expansion tank here. Uh, so I don't know if this car is supposed to have that uh, or not. So anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, we're gonna take a look at the interior real fast. Let's pop it open here real fast. This is the uh, super interior. It's called the VIP option. And I love the look of it. You can see how the door panels and everything is faded out. And across the console and stuff. Get down out, out of there now. The, uh, these are the new seats. They look really, really good. They're all real nice leather. Uh, someone did a nice job with that but this is actually the first uh, Lamborghini that I've seen uh, with these. Uh, this seat lever is not moving though so I don't want to force it but that is not moving at all. You can see the dash pad looks nice. It's kind of a covering that they put on it but it's actually in pretty good shape. You can see a couple little tiny cuts right there and a little bit of a some little stretch kind of marks there around that vent steering wheel looks really good uh, but you'll see some little cracks going along here all the way around uh, you can see the vin number 8972 a little paint missing there a little split right there the radio does work in it you can see the original shifter boot original carpet in it which probably could be replaced see a little cut right there um, this here's for the back glass. I'll just go ahead and pull that. You can look inside the door jam, looks really good. The integrity of this car is really nice because it hasn't been hit. No rust, actually pretty clean. 8972, end of the door jams, look great. So very original uh, in, in the interior. Uh, I'll show you the back seat since I can't move that. Uh, headliner. This split, you can see right there and back there. Interior lights aren't working uh, overall. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you. We'll look at some ga gauges right, right here real fast. Um, let me turn the key on. Uh, you can see here it had a, uh, um, a uh, fuel pump, electric fuel pump. Radio works. That's working. Stanley's got a squirrel over there. Um, Stanley, you can hear the uh, horn. It works. And it's gonna show the, 
you can hear the fan turn on for the AC. Like I said before, when it's running, you can hear um, the AC clutch turn on. That little fan there, I don't know exactly what that one does. I don't know if that turns on. I can hear something underneath the hood. Uh, you can hear, see the defroster, lights turning on, uh, blinkers, lights turning on, and then um, hazard light is the same one. Windows work. Uh, what else was I going to show you here? Um, I thought one more of those lights turn on, but none of the other ones are, are turning on. This one that says G, I think that's for generator. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and start it up. Yeah, generator light went out. The gas gauge I was saying didn't work. This is probably for a fog lamp, headlights, washer. You can hear that one doesn't do. Actually, that one I can hear noise. Oh no, this one I can hear a little noise on that one. Wiper, I'm not going to move because uh, they um, they had one get loose on me and tightened it, but they're real slow. They're real slow, uh, and I'm probably pretty sure you're not going to drive it in the rain, uh, but you might. You see the tack and everything's working. Pull the gauges. See that's moving. basically is all the stuff in here in general um, I haven't seen any signs of smoking or anything uh, in general we'll hop out uh, clocks not working I'm gonna hop on the other side and we'll see that uh, cigarette lighter pop up so we'll just take a look at this side real fast so I'm just trying to be as honest as I can I mean I'm gonna show this car just like it was uh, you know 95 Honda Prelude the uh, they all have their quirks and different things. You can see here the carpet. I love that down there. A little footrest. Um, glove box. You can see here the color. You know, this isn't faded. So, very similar here. So, uh, we'll just take a look at this side. Oh, the cigarette lighter. It did pop out. And it, it is hot. Yeah. The, uh, it already popped out on me. We'll take a look at the back seat real fast you see the vents down here you can see obviously the the age to the seats that light doesn't work back there like I said I haven't went through all this uh, stuff but overall everything looks pretty good you can see it had a different speaker in it at one point so take a look at this door panel on this side they even did the perforations back here door panel has a cut in it right there so overall looks pretty good and we'll take a look in the back here these uh struts um kind of gotta they will stay up but you got to be careful stanley shh. and if you don't know stanley is our mascot uh, i did take pictures of underneath the carpet here spare tire I have the jack and all that stuff, and I'm not going to disassemble this all now. You'll, you'll see pictures of it all. Um, but I just want to give you a general uh, back here. So it will stay up, but I have had it come down. So we're lucky uh, today. So, but main thing is here I'm looking at inside the jams. No cracking or anything like that. Uh, they look good. All the spot welds and stuff in there. So anyways. We'll uh, go ahead and take it some more stuff. Hey, I just wanted to do a cold start on the Espada. So, I can't draw, grab the uh, headers or anything like that, but it is definitely cold. So I figured I'd hop in here. And to show you, because it it is a it does take a little bit to start. Sometimes you gotta turn over a couple times. Um, so I'll hit the gas a few times there. There's not a choke, which that would make a difference. Um, we'll look at the gauges here. You can see the gauges are on. 
So you can just look across there. In general, there's that gas gauge just not working uh, exactly. So uh, we'll go ahead and fire up. And you can see, I just, I'm gonna do it again. I'll pump it a little bit. And you can see it's kinda missing a little bit. It takes a little bit for all the cylinders to warm up. So it's basically, you can see it's kinda, I'm not going to let the camera go for 10 minutes. If you let it sit here for uh, about 10 minutes, I'm not going to drive it for 10 minutes. We'll, uh, we'll let it warm up. But that's basically what you're going to expect. Hey, just wanted to show you underneath the uh, Lamborghini. Real fast, I do these videos a lot on all of our cars. But uh, this one here, I took the wheels off. Uh, so you can see a little bit more structure and inner wheel tubs and everything. In general, you're obviously going to see all the photos and everything but this just kind of helps a little bit we'll just start here to the front uh to the back you know up here front apron looks good but it looks like there was kind of a like a spoiler or something on there you can see those holes you can see the original spot welds are all there little ding right there everything else looks pretty clean original spot welds again everything looks clean underneath there a couple little scratches and things little ding right there you can see here bottom of the engine <clears throat> you know in the pictures I showed a little bit of oil seepage but not uh, not horrible I haven't really had stuff hitting the ground but there is a little bit of seepage in in different areas you can see a little right up underneath there you can see a little little tiny drip at the bottom that I'm not sure what what that is right there uh, from underneath here but <clears throat> if you look here at the oil pan just a little bit damp but nothing major you can see the headers you can see they kind of sealed them up there along the heads frame rails look really good up here all the tubs all the structure is in actually really excellent shape in general. I don't see any issues, no damage, no accidents or anything like that. Brakes feel good. And the, um, <clears throat> you can see that it's got a lot of pad as well. So, yeah, brakes are in pretty good shape. Car stops real nice, uh, like I showed you when we were driving it. Um, <clears throat> if you look here, this tub here, again, Really nice condition. I don't see any accident damage or anything like that. Again, the brake looks good. Brake shoes. There's not any grooves on the brakes, so they look they look real nice. Take a look at the floors real fast. Really nice floors. Inner rockers look nice. You can see a little bump up right there on the floor nothing major but it's there probably someone put a jack on it or a, a lift and lifted right there perhaps transmission you know again you can just, just see a little dampness you can see they had a weld right here a repair nothing on this side wish you could see that up there it says Lamborghini up on the side of the transmission and I don't know where to look at um, <clears throat> on these for uh, transmission numbers I haven't seen anyone uh, mention that but I haven't seen a stamp or anything like that and it lets you take it out maybe you can see here this the fins on this side of the transmission you can just see that's broken off and a little bit of the fins uh, there you can see on this side looks good you can see the exhaust has been heat wrapped here. Coming loose a little bit right there. This floor looks really nice. Actually real nice in general. So, I mean it's actually a really quality car. You can see the bottom of the rockers look really good. 
You know, no rust bubbles or anything like that. You can see all the spot welds coming across here. <clears throat> Take you over to the other side. Again, same thing. Take you back here behind the front of the axle. Again, everything looks real clean. I got pictures of the boots. They're not cracked or anything like that. Number on the back here, N1178 11 slash 49. You can see this is damp. Boots on this side look good. So I haven't really seen any major problems uh, in general. You can see the original exhaust, a little bit of rust forming there. Trunk drop-offs look good, body mounts look good there. Back here underneath, you can see the rear balance area, bottom of the, uh, <clears throat> the quarter panel looks good. We'll look, take you up there and let you look around this tub. Again, really nice condition. No accident damage, no rust. Brakes look good. You know, it's just like any other car, you're just inspecting and looking at different things. I might not know every single thing to look at on a, a Lamborghini, but when it comes to structure and stuff, I mean, this car looks great. Look up inside here. You know, hopefully this helps you a little bit more than just pictures. You know, just give it a little more detail for you to check out things. So. If you got questions and stuff, give me a call. Uh, this is uh, ending on Wednesday. You can make comments on the auction, but uh, just give me a jingle if you want to come and look at it. I'd be glad to uh, show it to you. So, have fun. Thank you, Bring the Trailer.